Hi there, we're here in Worthing. Um, my name's Jimmy Pearson, the Worthing Voice uh, cultural and arts correspondent. And we're here in a lovely little garden here with lots of plants and wildlife. And speaking of plants and wildlife, a, plant. uh, no, <laughs> a very clever plant. No, um, we have here Duncan McTaggart, who is a wizard with the camera and um, has a really unique vision. Um, would you like to, Duncan, maybe describe what you do, your your art, so to speak? Oh, I take do I take macro photographs? Um, mainly of floral subjects. But unlike most macro photographers, I try and get as little in focus as possible so that there's just a small point of focus that leads the eye into the picture. <coughs> it's more about colour than... So you're actually kind of creating a gateway into a different universe for people to kind of step into as an invitation? No, it's not exactly DMT. Yeah, I saw that you, you could say that. <laughs> well, it's funny because your artwork, your your pictures do have a hallucinatory kind of edge to them. Is mm. that is that something that you um, aspire to, or is that something that you? It's possibly something that has influenced me because I did take a lot of psychedelics as a teenager. So, yeah, it probably has influenced me. And and why flowers? My, my botany. Because, well, just look at them. They're just complex and little systems. And it's, systems. it's the tiny flowers that I tend to focus on more. Uh, you, get, you find these tiny little bits on them that are just fascinating. How long have you been, how long have you been actually um, doing the, the, the macro photography? Oh, well. In two th end of 2009, I bought, a, I bought my Nikon with a macro lens. But funnily enough, today is the seventh anniversary of when I bought my first little digital point-and-shoot camera. Wow, and did, did, you, did you envision yourself being a photographer or an artist no. at an early age, or is that something that No, I that was you... just going to festivals, and I thought, well, you know, there's so much to photograph here, why don't I ever bring a camera? So I was going to the 070707 festival and I ordered this little point and shoot off Facebook, not Facebook, um, eBay. And have you found social media being like of any use to you as an artist? Uh, Flickr. When I first started off, I was putting stuff on Flickr, and yeah, I think that also helped me with other people's comments and also seeing other people's photographs. And I never, I never actually opened the book on how to use my camera. I'm more of a just sort of prod it and see what happens, sort of person. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think that kind of comes out in in your work because it seems that you know you don't manipulate your subject at all it's always a, you, you look at things with a very honest eye and I think that's something to be appreciated in, oh, in an yeah. artist but I do I do do most of mine in a little studio that I've built in a little light box about this big and are you currently exhibiting anywhere oh there's some of my I was exhibiting at the Worthing Museum and Art Gallery but it's finished now but some of the stuff I had there is now at um, the Thieves' Kitchen. There's a few walls that I've been eyeing up that are just huge, great blank canvases. And I'd love to find one way of getting one of my photos that size. And how ironic to bring, you know, like the macroverse on a huge canvas. That would be quite something, wouldn't it? I'd like to do St Paul's as well. But I've been calculating, and I think it'll take me 5,000 to do a good show at St Paul's, because I'd want to go huge. And jiggly printing on that scale is very expensive. 
Well, you are the pirate artist, and I hope to see some pirate art going up somewhere. So, yeah, thanks very much for you know, talking, and we hope to hear more from you soon.